Hello everybody, my name is Brian Angard, and welcome back for more Pokemon Platinum. In the last part, we got ourselves over here to Salatian Town, which kind of reminds me of, you know, an Eevee Evolution name. <laughs> but, uh, it's not. Um, and you know, we've <laughs> made swift, quick work of, um, Fantina, which, you know, I'm still not over. <laughs> Like, how the hell did that happen? <laughs> um, and in this part, I know, you know, I'm just, ah, oh, fuck, planning to, um, take care of some stuff around Salation Town. Like, for example, capturing, like, I think there's, like, four Pokemon we're able to catch, you know, in the route south of here, in the tower south of here, in the north route of... In, in the north root of here. In the root north of here, and then the root that is next to that one. Uh, we could also potentially, uh, theoretically, <laughs> capture something in here, but all that is in here is um, a known. And who the hell is gonna use an unknown? Well, okay. <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> I've uh, <clears throat> definitely had plans of. Um, using an unknown in uh, some kind of playthrough, you know, um, not like a Nuzlocke or, you know, any kind of <laughs> something like that, but, you know, um, something like a challenge run where I only use unknown or, you know, a challenge run where I only use really horrifically shitty Pokemon. Um, <laughs> so, you know, that's an idea. Now, I do know for a fact that this guy uses Bronzor, so, um, excuse me while I, excuse me while I light my spliff. <laughs> if you've never seen that video, you, girl, you need to, you need to watch that video. I, I'm usually not the kind of person that's like, oh my god, you need to go watch this YouTube video. <laughs> but in this case, I feel like you, that's... You would you would be missing out. I, I, if I if I remember to, I'm gonna link it in the description. But uh, otherwise, it's just googling um, Bob Marley tour guide, <laughs> who has probably one of the most magical laughs I've ever heard in my entire life. It's just like a <laughs> and oh my god, and just the way that it because. The whole point of the tour, uh, well, not the whole point of the tour, but the, the stop that uh, the video is showing is for him to show off uh, Bob Marley's, the place where he used to um, smoke, you know, because, you know, that's part of the Rastafari, I believe it's, yeah, you know, that whole culture and religion. Um, then, you know, he says that you, I usually don't light up when there's people around, but this is part of the, the tour and the experience of, you know, watching how it might have happened with uh, Bob Marley sitting here and, you know, l lighting a spliff, as he puts it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sing you a song. <laughs> Excuse me while I light my spliff. <laughs> oh god, that, that is some, like, vintage internet video, like, for real. Like, <laughs> just looking at, like, the quality, it's like, ooh, this is some old shit. But, like, part of the old shit that's, like, you know, <laughs> really nice to, um, observe. Like, it, it, uh, to me, it's on the same level of, like, I don't know, the the duck song and, you know, all, all, the, all those internet classics, well, specifically YouTube classics, because I feel like that's where a lot of this shit was seen by a lot of people. Ooh, let's uh, change back. There we go. I always like to keep things in order. I, I, I tried to, because um, I used to be, in the past, insanely rigid about keeping my team, you know, uh, lowest level to highest level, and then, you know, lowest HP to highest HP, but, um... I try to be a little less strict with myself, uh, in, uh, Nuzlocke's. Because I feel like in Nuzlocke's it's more important to, uh... 
to uh, predict what the like if I know for example like right now I have a uh, graveler out front if I know the enemy is gonna use water type Pokemon it, it would be kind of stupid to have a graveler in front so uh, I, I try my best to um, instead of being super rigid I try to be a little more flexible um, and then you know um, I could always you know have a, a switch our graveler for something else like for example in this in this scenario switch it for a spicy meme um, and then you know put the um, experience share on um, on Graveler so that you know it still gets the experience but I don't have to you know <laughs> put it in harm's way for a second just you know go straight to uh, using uh, Shockwave, Shockwave with uh, Spicy Meme. By the way, speaking of nicknames, <laughs> this is something that I, because um, I, I usually, I'm, I'm the kind of person that, you know, I, I talk to myself a lot. Not in like, you know, a, <laughs> a crazy person kind of way, but I, I just like, you know, talk, talking just to, uh, have some noise in my apartment, I don't know. Um, then I usually like to um, <laughs> say things that make myself laugh, just, you know, because I, li I like to laugh. Um, <laughs> and one thing, because I was, um, well, uh, it was actually in between uh, recordings. Um, it was the part after Roselia died, but before, um, before I went ventured into uh, the Wavered Cave as a whole. Oh, okay. <laughs> just held my breath there for a little sec. Um, and I was just standing outside uh, Wavered Cave. Because uh, I usually like to take like a at least like a five minute break between um, each episode, just so that, you know, I'm not going into every episode with the same mindset. I like to, you know, break it up a little bit and, you know, let my my voice rest just a little bit and, you know, it's going browse the internet for like a minute or two just to, you know, get some thoughts running in another direction. And I was just sitting in front, I was, you know, just taking a swig of water and getting things into, into place before I was gonna start the recording. And I was, I, I don't know what context I said it in. Oh, oh, I was writing down uh, the Pokemon that I had caught. Because uh, I like to do that as quickly as possible, just so that, you know, the the list that I have on the right is always as up-to-date as it can be. <laughs> uh, I, I try not to, you know, write anything on it while I'm recording in the middle of an episode, <laughs> but uh, when the episode is on, I try to update the list. And I was going to write down, because um, at that point we had caught... Um, you know, Burmy and Togepi and Onyx and Gibble and Ponida. You know, we have, we had caught a lot of Pokemon that episode. So I thought, you know, okay, I need to update this episode, <laughs> update this document. And I was, you know, just uh, saying it out loud uh, while I was typing. And I said, I was gonna say Togepi, and I was gonna say it in you know a silly voice because you know I just like saying things in silly voices when I'm talking out loud. And what came out of my mouth, and I immediately went into like a, <laughs> a laughing fit, was Toger P. <laughs> and I, I just laughed for like a minute straight. And when I was editing the episode, <laughs> I even before I said the name, I was laughing. Just because I remembered what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, and um, I was almost tempted to change Togepi's nickname, because now it's uh, Lucifer. But I was, I was uh, uh, thinking of uh, changing it to Togerpi, you know, like T O G R E P I. <laughs> and I even spent like half an hour or something crazy like that editing a photo of Togepi which I'm gonna put on screen now. <laughs> it, 
if that is not a fucking abomination of like a freak of actual nature, I don't know what is. <laughs> Togerpy. Oh my god. And I was even planning on, you know, when it, when Togepi evolved, I was going to, you know, make a sprite for Togetic and then rename it Togerpi Togertic. <laughs> and then Toger Kiss. <laughs> oh my god. I I'm I'm not going to do that because, you know, I've I've given it the name and, you know, it would be just too much work. Uh because I, 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 even though I made that sprite, I'm not like totally happy with it, um, and it would be too much work to actually make a sprite that I would be happy with. But it's definitely something that is like that. I can pretty much guarantee you that, that is something that's going to happen in the future. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if well, not if, but when, I, whenever I do um, Heart Gold Soul Silver, because you get a Togepi there. Don't remember where else there is a, a Togepi you get. You get it in Platinum, you get it in, you know, Johto. Huh. Uh, I know you get it in Fire and Leaf Green and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but that is not until um, after the, the Elite Four, so you know it would be a little too late. So I suppose, uh, suppose it's gonna be in, um, in, uh, friggin', uh, Johto, if, uh, well, again, <laughs> not if, but when, ever I do a, uh, let's play of, uh, either, you know, actually, either Crystal or, um, uh, Hard Gold, Soul Silver, or Sacred Gold, either of those would be, you know, okay with me. <laughs> Now we do have a Ghastly here, which, you know, this counts as... The, the tower itself counts as a separate area, so... You don't have Thunder Wave. That is... Big friggin' booty. I'm just thinking if I have anything that's not gonna, you know, outright murder it. But, like, at least do a little bit of damage, because, I, you know, Grass Knot is gonna do, like, friggin' two damage. Whatever, let's let's just try chucking some balls and if I get desperate, I can, you know, do some other shit. Nest ball, which I found I find out after, you know, because I um, asked my future self in a past episode how much uh Ooh, Jesus. How good the nest ball is. And um If it's if a Pokemon is at under level twenty it is actually better than the Ultra Bolt. Like, anything below 20. And that is a pretty... That's that's gonna last you quite a bit. Ooh, ooh, I have a perfect name for this. Name that I just recently learned of, actually. Because, you know, it, it's a name that I hadn't... Had not heard about until, you know, this past week. Ludwig. Well, the, it is just, you know, the the... Dutch way of spelling, you know, Ludwig, as in, for example, Ludwig von Koopa, but I, I, I just really like that spelling, I don't know what it was about it, oh wait, it's in our party, isn't it, <laughs> oops, well, let's check it out, ooh, lax, hmm, that could actually be usable, but we do already have a, a ghost type, so for now I'm just gonna deposit it. I'm kind of surprised because usually, for some dumb reason, I have just the worst luck when it comes to um, Ghastly. Like, for some reason, especially the one I catch there, specifically, always have really shitty natures, and I don't know why that is. Oh, hello! Well, don't I feel stupid. <laughs> I definitely should have tried to catch this um, in the route below. <sighs> I could have potentially had a uh, a Scyther on this route. Oh well, <laughs> too late for that now. 
It does have really, really good special defense that this should not do too much. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, this is uh, not cool. Let's try to use two. And, because, uh, you know, it does have soft boiled, so, you know, I'm not gonna try to do any more, because it's gonna potentially just, you know, yeah. As it's doing right now. <laughs> Ugh. This might take a while. Fuck. Yeah, but actually, you know, while we're doing this, I can just, because I only need one hand to do that. Uh, let's look up. Sorry if it's making some noise. Um, because my uh, phone is still uh, attached to a cable. So let's look up Pokey Earth and check out the route that is straight below here. Yeah, minimize all you want. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the only thing that we don't have on the route below is Chansey, unless uh, it's during the night where we could have gotten uh, Duskull. Which, you know, uh, Duskull would have been cool. Nah. I, I do actually really love Duskull. Duskulops is pretty much one of my absolute favorite Pokemon. Like, it's in the top six. But it's not the most useful in game. Like I, I will, I will admit that it's not the most useful thing in game. And looking at it, oh, poopy. We definitely, like, we would have been guaranteed if we had caught Chansey in the route below. We would have been guaranteed a Scyther, unless, uh, unless we did this in the night where we could have put on. Potentially, potentially have gotten um, Hutut or Noctowl instead. <sighs> Lordy Lord. <laughs> I was, wow, I just noticed that Spicy Meme and Shockwave have the exact same number of letters. Hmm, fun. Would you stop that? God, if only I had a... Um, uh, taunt still. That would have been nice because I, I deleted a grass nut for taunt on um, on Monferno on Work Bitch. But because um, I felt like you know, first of all, we do have the TM for taunt, so if I ever truly need it, I can relearn it to someone. But I just feel like taunt is not really that useful in game. Like it has some, you know, choice. Uh, applications like for example as I showed with uh, Abra where if you use uh, and and for that matter on Ralts uh, if you use a uh, taunt on them they can't teleport away from you and also if you for example know that there's a Pokemon that has um, whirlwind or roar or something like that you can um, use um, use a uh, taunt to make it so that they can't <laughs> roar or whirlwind you away. No. Oh, cool. <laughs> it really fits being in a heal heal boss. I'm I'm pretty happy about that actually. Now what to call you? That is a uh... Ooh, I know the absolute perfect name for you. And it's a name I usually give to Pokemon like Chansey. But in this case it is actually is Chansey, so is Mahalan. Don't know where that really came for came from, I should say. Um I, I guess I guess it's kind of um bit, Ooh, timid. Answering Grace. Actually I think it might be guaranteed to answering grace. Give me a sec. Oh no, it could have had a natural cure, but uh, eh, I prefer Serene Grace because I like <laughs> added effects. That's honestly pretty cool, huh? I, I re actually would I, I would really like to use this Chansey. So if uh, <laughs> something ever happens to Narcissus, we uh, know how to turn to. So let's deposit you for now. 
<laughs> really happy about the timid nature. That's actually pretty good because you know it's it definitely doesn't need attack and you know extra speed is always nice. So uh, I think we're gonna try for a dusk goal on the route below. So uh, gonna wait until nighttime on that one because there's nothing there that I would have liked a uh, duplicate of. Because you know you could have I could have gotten an extra Roselia. Um, what else? Roselia, Beberol, Storivia. And none of those I really, you know, have like a. feel like a strong need for, so. Eh. I'm gonna skip them for now. It's gonna be a Meryl, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> oh, my prediction powers. Gosh darn it. Yeah, because the. You, you can get a lot, actually this route in particular, you can get a lot of cool things actually, but um, for some reason I'm always stuck with Meryl, and Meryl is, you know, it's a, it's pretty much just a 50-50 gamble of either you're, you're gonna get a really good one with a uh, huge power, or you're gonna get one that is literally useless with uh, thick fat, well, okay, not literally useless, but you know, it's pretty much useless, because uh, the only way a thick fat Meryl can be good is, you know, if you have, uh, like for example, um, I don't know, Aqua Ring and Toxic and, you know, the Substitute, you know, the really, really defensive, but uh, for it to actually be able to flourish, then you would have to use a lot of, you know, exclusive TMs on it, like, for example, Toxic. And I definitely don't want to squander my Toxic TM, you know, <laughs> unless I really, really have to. Um, friggin' uh, uh, God. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why this came to mind, but okay. Love hurts. <laughs> like a, a middle ground between love, love hearts and love hurts. Love hurts. Modest and... Jesus Christ, this is quite possibly the worst Meryl we could have gotten. Ugh, that is disgusting. But at least now we never have to capture another Meryl. Jesus, fuck Meryl. <laughs> I just get so angry at it because, you know, I, I, I don't have anything particularly against the Pokemon itself. Like, whatever. I, it's cute and all that. It's, it, it, is, it can be useful. But I, ugh, I just hate it because it's such... It, it is that coin toss if you get thick fat. You're pretty much fucked, because <laughs> it's it's just useless. In fact, just to show my contempt, I will put you in the fucked up box. <laughs> now I'm just being spiteful. <laughs> Actually, let me... No, I actually, you know what, I like idiots. <laughs> and in fact, you know what, since we're naming boxes, let's call this one, since I do have that banner on the top right, let's call them friends. Friends and idiots. <laughs> I was thinking of calling them, like, you know, useless, but I feel like, you know, that is a little harsh. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like, you know, instead just calling them idiots. <laughs> That's, you know, a little more, uh, you know, less harsh. Ooh, ooh, I completely forgot about something that I should do. Because we got the, uh, the defog TM, which, you know, I'm... Gonna use that to climb the tower eventually, but uh, 
Not right now, because I just don't feel like going ahead and teaching defog to somebody. Because <laughs> def I mean, giving defog to somebody is basically just making it so that um, um, you're you have three move slots instead of four, because it's that useless of a move. <laughs> like if you look at all the HMs, you have uh, like for example Surf, who you know is just a very it's it's just a good move like there's nothing more to say about it that than the fact that it's just a good fucking move <laughs> but then you have moves like and then you have moves like strength which is a little less useful i mean if you give it to a normal type it's you know fairly okay it's not as good as return but i mean if you're gonna, if you have to teach it to somebody anyway, you might as well give it to you know a normal type, and it's okay. And then you have you know the rock smash, which is pretty much entirely useless, and you know <laughs> every water move that isn't surf, like for example dive. Um, waterfall can be useful on you know if for example a zoom roll is pretty useful if you give it, uh, if it has a huge power and you give it a um, waterfall. And then, you know, you have the defog and, you know, whenever Flash is an HM and, you know, <laughs> all that kind of shit. Where you have a pretty much useless move for the rest of the game unless you, whenever, until you get to the move deleter. Because the, th the thing is that we don't have access to the move deleter until we've defeated, you know, five gyms, and even then you have you have to defeat five gyms, and then uh, do like a big story quest, and then you have access to um, to surf, which then gives you access to the move deleter. So you have to go through a lot of rigmaroles and hoops and ladders to actually, you know, <laughs> be able to even delete the move itself. It would be funny, actually, if uh, the um, changing the form of Rotom gave, gave it access to more than one move. Like, um, if Fan Rotom was able to learn Defog, I feel like that would be kind of fun. Like, not, of course, from a gameplay standpoint, but just, you know, from a, a flavor standpoint, it would have been kind of cute. I don't know really what a moves the other ones would then get I don't know <laughs> the the ice one being able to learn um, icy wind through move tutor I don't know the the washing machine one being able to uh, learn water pulse from tutor question mark I don't know <laughs> uh, I, I kind of Ooh, ooh, yeah, the, on the topic of a zoom roll, because just from a gameplay standpoint, you do have the coin toss, which makes it kind of, you know, a risk. Like, if you, if the one, the Pokemon you encounter is, uh, Meryl, you, it's like that feeling of like, oh, fuck, I hope the RNG gods are in my, in my favor. But then on top of that, just personally, I'm not really a fan of using it because I hate the fact that it's, you know, a physical water type. I just don't like using physical water types because that locks it out of surf, which, you know, that means you're prob most likely going to have to have a second water type on your team to uh, use surf, which is so stupid because, <laughs> like, I just, you know, would ha like to have one water Pokemon on my team. And, you know, one Pokemon of each type on my team in general. And then, you know, <laughs> have it have Surf and then possibly ha giving it Waterfall for, the, like, the, the last quarter of the game. Because, you know, you need Waterfall. So, but, but then if you have a Zoomerl on your team, you give it Waterfall. And then either you have to give it Surf and have that, you know, be a wasted move slot, pretty much. Or you have to have a second Water type. Or have a Pokemon that is not a water type but can learn Surf, but then you have a Pokemon using Surf and not getting same type attack bonus from it, which, you know, why would you want to do that? <laughs> I, 
again, I mean, it's not the worst, but like, I don't know. It, it, I guess it's one of those things where, like, <laughs> it's not a... Well, I, I, I don't think I know that this is, uh, this is a me problem, not a us problem or a general problem. <laughs> Plobrum. Pl <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I haven't even recorded for that long, but my, my mouth is getting all, uh, weird. I think I'm just gonna, you know, after this battle, I'm gonna call it quits, as it were. I'm quitting. I'm quitting Let's Playing Forever now. I'm gonna call it quits when it comes to recording. Maybe. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna take a long break and go right back to it. Because, uh, I, I, I'm just in, like, a recording kind of mood, and I kind of want to advance. I, I, I really want to, um get to uh, Veilstone City. For some reason, I have a hard time uh, remembering the names of the cities in S Sinnoh. I guess they just don't, you know, sit in my uh, my brain as much as the towns of other games, I suppose. But, I think that I'm gonna see you guys in the next time. Goodbye.